In this video, I will be taking ChatGPT to its limits to create a Roblox game. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a Roblox developer and I specialize in coding. In this video, you will find out if I'm pursuing a user's career or not, so stick around if you want to know if ChatGPT is up to the challenge and it is as intelligent as people make it out to be. We all know how powerful AI can be in the modern day and age. I mean, I will be the first one to admit that AI has saved me countless hours of doing homework in school. I'm not ashamed to say, you probably have used ChatGPT for the same purpose as well. And that's cool, but you know what's cooler? creating a game so i guess the first thing we need to decide is what game we're gonna be making we need a plan okay so since i don't know how powerful ChatGPT is in regards to writing code it's kind of my first time testing this the game we're going to be making has to be rather simple it will be a tnt rush kind of game where players will be in a lobby and then teleported to a match area and then get dropped into the different layers of the tnt rush games right and if they get dropped from the last layer then their character has to get destroyed all right so i made a list of a couple things we're going to be needing for this we're going to be needing a kill break system which is what obliterates a player's character we're going to be needing a matchmaking system this includes the teleportation of the players to the match and back to the lobby a layer building system for the map and a brick disappearing system which will be the thing that makes the parts fall or turn invisible etc when they're touched by the player yeah it's kind of surprising how little some games need to be created so i right, let's get started okay so first the killer brick i doubt ChatGPT is going to have any troubles with this i'll just tell ChatGPT to create a part that destroys a player's character if a character touches it Okay, so this is the prompt I used to create a script of code for a Roblox game in which if a player touches the part, the character dies. And then ChatGPT just gave us a little script over here, which I guess we're going to be placing in the death zone part in Roblox Studio. Well, I guess this is going to be any part that is going to have the kill break function. Okay, so let's test this real quick. Okay, so working in Roblox Studio, so I'll have to insert a part. I'm going to rename the part to killer brick. That's where the script goes inside the part. And then I'm going to take ChatGPT's script. Okay, I pasted the script as you can see. And now we just have to see if it works. But before we see if it works, let me just... Okay, now we can test it. Okay, so that actually worked pretty fine. I'm not surprised about it because you can find this in the internet. So, but I guess not that off the checklist. Next is matchmaking. So this can be a little bit tricky if you don't word it correctly for ChatGPT. So I'm gonna try this. Okay, so this is the prompt I use. Create a matchmaking system with two faces, one for the match and one for the intermission. The two faces should automatically take turns in a loop starting with the intermission phase. At the start of the match phase, and this is the code ChatGPT gave me. As you can see, it says place this script in a server script in Roblox Studio. Let me take a look at the code and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so I took a look at the script and also I forgot to add for players to be teleported to a part called match spawn when the match starts. But I took a look at the overall code and it seems a little bit off. I mean, it did incredibly well for a machine, I guess, but I'll have to tweak it in order for it to work because like this is not perfect code. So let me see if I can get this code to work. Just give me a second. So I finally finished. And here's a list about the things that ChatGPT got wrong or just couldn't really do. It couldn't perfectly make the distinction from players who were in the match to those who were not. The match duration was doubled and the one player win condition was not included in the code. So I guess it just skipped that for some reason. But other than that, I think ChatGPT did most of the heavy lifting in here. So I'ma let that slide. I'll give it a pass. I, it did most of the heavy lifting. So not that up the checklist. But before we go to the next point, let me show you real quick what we just did okay so intermission time is five seconds right now it will change in the future of course and match time is five seconds as well however if there is just one person in the match then the match automatically ends that's why when they teleport to the red part it instantly like teleports me back to the blue part because the red part represents where the match will start and since there's only one player just me and Ludius, then it just teleports me back to the intermission part which will be in the lobby so technically yes you will need two people to play this game okay now to the next point okay so next is the layer system so i don't know if ChatGPT is even gonna be able to do this because it uses a lot of geometry but let's see creating different layers okay let's try this create a script that creates five different layers create a folder in workspace called layer pods at a distance of 50 studs and it actually gave me code for this and now we gotta 
let's see if this code actually works if this code works i'm going to actually be surprised okay so let's move to roblox studio okay so i'm going to disable the matchmaking script so we can actually see what's going on with the new script so we're going to create a new script over here and we're going to name this layer building and then we're going to copy the script that ChatGPT just gave us onto the new script okay let's see if this actually worked bro bro if this worked let's see let's test okay so it created a massive lag spike i believe it's because the parts are not anchored yeah it's because of that oh my i don't even know if you can hear me all right right now but what is this to be fair i didn't tell it to anchor the parts okay so let's just do that real quick Okay, so I actually forgot to voice this next part that you guys will see. But basically, what I did here is that I added a weight so that we can see the whole process of the creation of layers. And as you can see, the layers are not being created how we want it to be created because, you know, they need to be. But yeah, it's just not creating it how it's supposed to be creating it. And it just keeps going. Just look at it. go. It's just creating layer after layer after layer. And at, in the end, it just creates this massive cube and i don't really know why it does this but yeah i just had to try something else with ChatGPT. and after talking with ChatGPT for a long time i actually got it to give us the results that we wanted okay so here we're going to go back to roblox studio and this is the end result that we got as you can see now this is looking a lot more like tnt rush right However, the next thing that we actually need to do is make it so that when the character touches any part that's inside of any of these layers, the part starts disappearing. So let's try that now. Alright, so this is what I told ChatGPT to do. Make it so that if any part from any layers is touched by any body part of a player's character, then the part turns neon for 0.2 seconds, then it will twin its transparency for about 0.5 seconds until it reaches zero and then it will destroy the part that was touched by the player's character's body part and it gave us this code which i think we're supposed to replace with the previous one that it gave us so let's try that okay so we're back in studio now let's replace this okay there you go replaced now we gotta test this let's test this real quick okay so the parts are disappearing and it, i mean it doesn't look bad but this was not what we were going for i mean it's turning red i don't even know it's, if it's turning neon it's changing colors but i mean it doesn't look bad right it doesn't really look that bad i think i'll leave it like this yeah i'll leave it like this so yeah i think now we have all the things now i have to put all of these things together in order to get the actual game like done and i will need to get a lobby and also like walls for this so players don't just jump off the map. No, actually no i won't do walls if players jump off the map that's their skill issue, right? Okay, so I finally finished everything related to the games and I connected everything related to what we just did with ChatGPT. And I also added some minor things that ChatGPT just couldn't add in order for the match to work effectively. And the last thing we need to do is just show some gameplay of the game so that you can see how the end result actually looks like now. And I'll just leave you to it. Enjoy this little gameplay match. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so that was the gameplay session. Okay, so what's the conclusion of this video? Can ChatGPT make a whole game? Eh, uh, no, no. <laughs> The answer to that is no. Unless you're a scripter and you actually know how Roblox Studio works and how to code in Roblox Studio, you probably won't even know how to phrase the things that ChatGPT needs to know in order for it to create the script in the first place. But I definitely think 
it's worth checking out. Will it be taking any scripting jobs? Unfortunately um, not. <laughs> You're not taking any scripting jobs for now, ChatGPT. Yeah, I'm sorry. However, maybe if you're a starter scripter, you might be kinda useless now. If you're like really, really new to scripting, because as you as you saw, ChatGPT can actually do some pretty interesting stuff. Most of it it's like for starter scripters, but it can actually do some pretty interesting stuff. I would actually say give it a shot, check it out and see what you can do with it. That said, I hope you liked today's video. Keep leveling up, bro. Be safe and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.